Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool original Mickey Mouse telephone and this is Jennifer's telephone and her daughter's from Utah. And so basically this telephone has some issues. Uh, they did not send the upper portion of Mickey. There's no need for it really. Uh, all we need is the base and the handset and any cords that would be used with uh, Mickey. And Jennifer has a note and she talks about how the keypad only has a few keys on it that work and that it has very low receive volume. And so we want to go through this telephone and straighten it out. And usually with these issues with the keypad on these manual type keypads, they have a bunch of linkage that runs inside the keypad. So when you press a number, you really don't think about it if you don't work on telephones. But on these manual keypads, there's about 10 different things that are going on at the same time when you press a key. That's because of all the linkage and leaf contacts that have to be hit. And the issue with this keypad is this telephone's probably been dropped. So you would associate the keypad sticking and not working properly with uh, the telephone taking a fall. And so that's probably what caused the keypad issue. And that very well may have something to do with the volume also. So we want to get in and readjust the keypad and make sure everything's working and all the, the uh, linkage is working properly and the leaf contacts are being hit properly. And then we want to go in and get our uh, receive repaired. And so the other issue with this telephone is it does not, and I have the keypad loose because we're going to have to take that apart and adjust it. A lot of the buttons are stuck and then you know the linkage is not working properly. So we'll get that working. That'll be repaired and we want to install a polarity protect circuit for this network. This telephone does not have a polarity protect circuit in it and so what's going to happen is you may plug it in one telephone jack and it'll work right and then you may plug it in another and it may not work right. So we want it to work always. So we'll go ahead and install a polarity protect circuit and that way no matter where this telephone's plugged in it will always work properly. And so we'll get that taken care of also. So we'll take a short break from the video and uh, we'll start working on this telephone. We'll get some more video as we move forward in the progress of the repair. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we have finished up repairing the keypad and the receive at the handset. That issue has been taken care of also. And so we had to take the keypad apart and rework all the linkages and the springs. And so everything is working now. We want to do a test on this before we start installing our Polarity Protect circuit. And you may notice this row here in the center, the 2, 5, 8, and 0, will have a little more tension. And that's because it's had some uh, new parts put in it. So, And there's a leaf spring contact that uh, we added to it. So anyway, now we want to do our test. And I'm going to go ahead and plug the unit in and give you some dial tone. So the dial tone's back to normal. If you watch the analyzer, we're going to walk through our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to give you some dial tone and I'm going to walk through the numbers again. And I want to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit every time you see that red light light up. So we know that this telephone We'll check it one more time. 
is dialing out, it's receiving properly now, and it's transmitting. We'll go ahead and check the ring on it real quick. I'll let that go one more time. Give you some dial tone. Now, we're going to do a final check. I can unplug the telephone now. We're going to do a final check on everything. So now what we want to do is install our Polarity Protect circuit at the network. So we'll go ahead and take a short break and we'll install that and we'll come back and do our final checks. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up in the repair of this Mickey Mouse telephone. And so basically we're going to run through a little bit about what went on. We had to go into the keypad and repair the keypad. And so that included some of the linkage and springs and leaf contacts and things like that. We also repaired the receive for the handset and we installed a bridge rectifier for proper polarity at the network. So no matter where Jennifer or her daughter plugs this telephone in, it'll always work properly. So now what we want to do is our final checks. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold the hook switch down. And I want to plug the unit in and we'll ring it. I'll let that go one more time. Give you some dial tone. Now if you watch the analyzer, we're going to walk through our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2, and I want to do that one more time. Give you some dial tone since that was one of the issues. end in a 2 and now I want to transmit into the handset just like before. If you watch that red light that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is dialing out, it's receiving, it's transmitting, and it rings in on a ring cycle what we can do now is push this button on the switch box and that totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and gives us a line out. Give you some dial tone. We'll call a time and temp number and they're having problems with their equipment. So you'll hear the recording start and then there will be a hum and then the recording will continue. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Give you some dial tone. October 7th. The time is 2.10. Current temperature 75 degrees. Mostly cloudy today, then clearing highs in the 60s. Third tonight, lows in the 40s. Sunny on Tuesday, highs in the mid-70s. Okay. Now we can call one other number. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We'll go ahead and switch the switch box over to the analyzer again, and we'll give you some dial tone. We'll walk through the numbers again, since that was one of the issues. I'll end in a 2. We'll do that again. I'll end in a 2, and we'll do that one more time.
end in a 2. We'll go ahead and unplug the unit. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Jennifer and her daughter and they can start enjoying this Mickey Mouse telephone. They're very cool telephones, they're highly collectible, and I understand why Jennifer's daughter wants this telephone. I'm sure Jennifer had it and now her daughter will enjoy it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.